I have a Honda EU2000i Companion 30A, but I also have the Honda EU2000i also, uh, with not the non-companion version. Uh, but what I've seen, I've seen a lot of videos that people uh, want to be able to run the engine out of gas, uh, the carburetor out of gas without... Um, uh, because of the ethanol problem there without ruining the carburetor. Uh, normally when you kill the engine, you turn your switch to off. When it does, it kills the engine immediately. And so a lot of people, I don't know if you've seen other videos on YouTube, uh, a lot of people will put a valve up here at the top where you can actually turn the, turn the valve off and uh, let the carburetor run out of gas and let it kill itself. There's really no reason to need to put a valve up here because when you come to think, when you look at it, this down here is a valve. It closes the valve off. When you turn it off, it actually turns a valve inside, quarter turn valve, which shuts the gasoline off. The only problem is there's also a switch on it and that kills the engine immediately so it never runs out of gas. So instead of putting a valve up here and leaving this on, why not just turn the valve off, let it run out of gas by disengaging the kill switch. And what you can do, you take the cover off here, and it's really simple fix. If you come look down here at the bottom, uh, right here at the bottom you'll see a uh, plug. And on that plug you will see a green, and I don't know what this light here shows, but the green and black wire. That blink green and black wire is actually the kill switch that ties in with the switch here. So all you really need to do is disconnect this wire. You disconnect it. And what that does now when you turn the valve, it kills the engine by letting it run out of gas. It disengages the kill switch where it automatically kills itself. So there's really no reason to put a valve up there. And what I did because I still, at times, if I want to be able to, say, just add some gasoline on it, you turn it off, and it takes about three minutes for the carburetor to run out of gas. I didn't want to wait three minutes to have to put gas in it, so at, at that time, I wanted to kill it immediately. So what I did, I got some of these, you see right here, on the, uh, I guess the female side of that same plug, and I let the, the male side, just left it hanging there. I put some of these little wiring uh, splicers in it. And all I did was I come upstream just a little bit of the green and the black wire. I put one on the green and one on the black. And I run another wire. I got a red. And it don't really matter which one. I got a black. And it really don't matter which, which wire is which. Because all it does, it shorts out between each other. So what I did, I come up the top and I put a little momentary switch. And so what I can do, I can turn the switch off, lets the engine run out of gas. But if I want to just, uh, say, add gasoline to the engine, or gasoline to the generator, without having to run it completely out of gas, because it takes about three minutes, once I turn the switch off, for the engine to die. So I want to kill the melee. I just flip this little switch here and it kills the motor. Let go of it and you're back. You don't even have to turn this switch to off down here. All you got to do is flip that switch there and it shards out these two wires and it kills the engine, which is the ignition. So I just left this disconnected. I put this little splicer, one on the black and one on the green, and I run the wire up out of the way and you can see the wires right here. It goes up to this little switch, which I just cut the little hole of the switch in. Now you can use this, or you can even use the round ones and just drill, drill a hole for a momentary switch, because all it has to be is a little push button switch. I wanted this little square one, because it just looks neater. So I put this switch here, and that allows it. And I cut the little hole out with a Dremel, and measured it on the back of the switch. But again, you can you just drill a hole and use the little button type that you just push your button. You just hold it in low enough for an engine die, all you gotta do, and the engine dies, you can leave this on or off, either one, because all this switch now does is turn the gasoline on and off. And you're not gonna be able to see it, but in the back, 
that is all that is is a valve and uh, if you look close in there and you might be able to see it the gas line runs through there so when you turn the switch off it just turns the gas line off and then back on so I'll run this two little splicers here run it up and back and that kills the engine and that allows me to kill the engine for filling up let go is ready to run again start it up and run it when I'm ready to store it I turn the valve off and let it run out of gas that is one option you can do uh, but what I found out uh, it's really just as simple after I put this in there I kinda like the option at first but if you just turn the thing off normal without any kind of modification on it turn the valve off it kills the engine all I gotta do is stick a screwdriver in here open it it drains the gasoline down I usually put a rag down here I just get a little rag put it down here open turn the screw open it and you'll see gas running down here probably can get about a tablespoon maybe a little bit more is all you're really going to get out that drains the whole carburetor and without no modification whatsoever uh, even running it by, by running it turning the valve here and running it out of fuel I noticed that if I open this up afterwards, there's still going to be a tiny, little bit of gas. I put a rag down there, there's going to be a little bit of gas, very little, but even the other one ain't but about a tablespoon or two or full. So it really is just about as easy to go ahead and open the lid up and do this here. But using this here, I can run it out of fuel and it's still minimum fuel in the carburetor itself. So I'm protecting it from ethanol, from any kind of a problem uh, future down the road. I treat my gasoline anyway, uh, but I still like to enter the carburetor. So I just kill the switch. But again, your best bet is still going to be opening this here and drain it out. So you can use this kind of system here that I installed here, but still it's just about as easy. And it's even safer just to go ahead and run out of gas instead of putting all the other stuff in it but putting the valve up here really serves no other purpose because you got a valve built in just flip just undoing the uh, the plug here is so much simpler because all it is is a like I say you'll see a green and a black wire you short them out it kills the engine